Here is a duck. Here is a turkey. The cow says, This is a dog. Do you hear the frog? This is a pig. The cow says, But how do you suppose the sounds made it from a C and say onto audio cassette tape with such good sound quality? I had a pride at a park with the correct force. As I found on the inside the gear drive system that didn't turn this gear actually it just would turn the actual regular type of pull string system. See the mechanism inside there. Here is a duck. Very interesting mechanism. the needle, took the cardboard piece around the outside off. You can really see the mechanism really good in there. Now watch how this mechanism works. That's the spring. It will wind up on there. Tries to wind back with force. This is actually has a belt drive system inside, and this is the governor system that has weights on the inside that keeps it going at a steady speed. And it has a belt which is still good and actually still very tight. A very good drive belt on there which runs the flywheel for the little record. As you can see in here, the needle, as you can see, will vibrate a diaphragm. Sadly to say, there is this thing mounted up there and they had to have a hole in the diaphragm. I wish they didn't have to do that, but there's the diaphragm, which has those kind of grooves over at the end, just like a regular speaker does, so it can move. See whenever I queue it up, the needle isn't moved. The record is in a certain position to start at a certain groove, and then. This is a pink. Of course, turning this lever, as you know, will turn the record so it goes to a different start groove. Not taking it apart. There's the bell. Yeah, I want to try to experiment on this thing. You have to literally pry things apart to get this apart. There's the little record. As you can see, those little start-offs started into the grooves for the different positions. There's the spring. There's the string holder little arrow thing and the governor the system of two weights which are springed to be against here 
it spins around and keeps it running at a nice steady speed. I'm running a mechanical non-motor, I mean non-battery powered motor. And there's the diaphragm. That thing will just push in and out. That will push the extra diaphragm out. That's how these things went on that part. I'm going to manually hold the needle down and turn the record manually and see how it will sound. I've got the needle out. It runs at 78 RPM. Here's what I had to do. Run the Zenith record player and the both say 6100 to turn the record at 78 or this one propped up on its cover will then be able to in turn play the CNC record. The rooster says I'm gonna put this on neutral. Select it for a part and start it. This is a horse. Audio audio quality is pretty good. The rooster says... Do you hear the frog? The sheep goes... This is a horse. The rooster says, Listen to the cat. The rooster says, The coyote goes, This is a horse. A very neat thing to do indeed. Wow.